Hey everyone, it's Dimple and this video is for you, so I hope you like it. This is the street this property is on. It's a five bedroom family villa with a beautiful private garden that I know you're gonna love. It has a plot of 9,000, almost 9,000 square feet. Here we are inside the property. The built up area is 6,210 square feet. It has this ground floor bedroom as soon as you enter to the right with an attached bathroom. This can be used as it's a very flexible room. It has that space. You can either put in a television there, a home theater, you can make it a gym. This is the view from this bedroom. And you can even make it en suite. It has a shower, so it makes a very nice guest uh, bedroom actually and then you know you have this nice entryway you have the kitchen to the right there and the stairs going upstairs to the four bedrooms and a family area while on the left side you have a really massive um, living room it's it's an open plan um, space with uh, connected to the dining area And there's a lot you can do in this property. You can open up these walls, create more windows, more views, because you know, this property is really uh, all about the garden. Here we are in the kitchen. Um, it does have the white cabinets and the very beautiful granite black countertop. Um, this is the area basically where you have the family room and it connects quite easily to the maid's room as well uh, from the side door. Um, so we're out of the kitchen just panning around showing you how it is and we are now going upstairs to the four bedrooms this is the family room it's huge it has very high ceilings like I think it's about four meters high so it's a very large room you can do many things here beautiful views again from this window And, you know, they have pets just like you, so they have cats and dogs living in, uh, in this space. And there's a cat actually hiding from me as I'm filming this. So this is one of the bedrooms. It's the second largest after the master bedroom. And they've replaced the bathtubs with showers in all the rooms. So this is now the other room upstairs. They're all just slightly different to suit the different personalities of the family. And they all have the built-in wardrobes. Lots of space. This is the other bedroom. This is now bedroom number three. They all have attached bathrooms as well. And now we'll go to the master bedroom. So as you walk in, this is the master suite. You have the bathroom to the left and the main room to the right there, which connect, which is connected to a beautiful terrace. And it has amazing views you're gonna love sitting here and you can see the garden below and there's that little gate there at the back which takes you out of the pro backyard but really the views from this villa are really beautiful you can't imagine you're in Dubai sitting uh, sitting here it's that green and this is the master bathroom Uh, connected to the dressing area here. So there's a lot you can do with this space and you can knock this wall down and kind of make it a little bit more spacious for yourself. And look at that cat over there. I just saw this little kitty peeking at me as I was filming this area and I just found it so cute. I didn't know she was there watching me. <laughs> so there you are. Aww. So cute. Right? Ah, uh, so that got me distracted a little bit. Now I'm downstairs again. Um, and I'm going to just circle around the property because you said you wanted uh, basically an in-depth review of the garden area. So here we are. And they have some of the most beautiful flowers. Everything is in full bloom here. And I think these are called Exoras and these are really slow growing and very hard to grow. I tried growing these 
I, I wasn't successful. So these, these are very difficult to grow and they're stunning flowers and they seem to have all the colors. They have the orange, the red, the pinks. I mean, it's, it's, these shrubs are really beautiful. And I'm gonna just go around to the side. This too is so well taken care of. They have that cladding on the right side so that the water doesn't touch the main walls of the house. So they've really taken good care of the property. It's, uh, it's, it's in a very good condition very mature shrubs which you can you know um, redo slightly and manicure them as you want so that's what the back side of the villa looks like and this here they've made this uh, you know sitting area connected to the living room from this door and with a it's it's covered little patio that they've made here and this here is the extended porch um, again, it's been extended outwards. This basically is accessed uh, from the living room, from the kitchen. You can get to this area, the dining room, all of the rooms basically on the ground floor, except for the bedroom, you can open onto this area. And in fact, as I pan around, the kitchen door is right behind me from where you can access this as well. And that's the kitchen window there. So you have all this view from all this area and that's the gate there at the back taking you out onto the park so this here on this side basically goes to the maid's room and the uh, laundry area it's all tiled flooring so it's pretty well maintained and that's the garage there so here's the laundry room and this here is um, you know they store the water tanks here which are not really used so you can actually pull this out and create it's a huge room which it's okay you can create a whole room out here for the driver or maid's room uh, or a storeroom This is the two-car garage. It has a uh, remote-operated door, and this door here takes you right into the kitchen from the garage. So it's very convenient access from the garage straight through onto the family area and the kitchen. And now we're going to go right back to the front of this villa. I'm just gonna go actually right back again to the back end so that I can show you where the backyard gate what it opens to so here's the street on the left of that gate and then you have this luxury villa here uh, which is facing in in an opposite direction and then you have a right side small little street there and this street leads you to the main park So, you know, you can see it's just seconds away from this villa, but the property is not on the park. It is quite noisy and on this park because it attracts uh, all the people who want to go for a walk, they want to run. You'll have people cycling, you'll have kids playing. So it's a very nice, vibrant place to spend an evening in. And it extends all the way from the right side to the left. Uh, it's a good about 20, 30 minute walk, depending on the pace you're at. And uh, this here is a little children's play area, so we have many of them scattered all over the community. And you're gonna see, um, basically you have luxury villas that are on the rim of this park. So you have the largest properties that you can own in green community called luxury villas. These are six bedroom homes with backyards uh, starting from 13,000. In fact, the biggest one I have here is about 20,500 square feet. Um, so really nice beautiful mansions just 40 of them and um, all this access and all this I mean to live in this community feels like a blessing at least uh, I think it's it's we are blessed to have this because who'd imagine this is Dubai right look at I mean it's right now it's beautiful time because the flowers are in full bloom so green communities has never looked better trees are just amazing. A lot of these uh, flame trees and frangipanis 
bougainvillea grows so well in Dubai. It's quite a favorite with people. So we're back again into the property and uh, just going back all the way to the now front. One last look at the yard. It is, you know, you might find it a little overgrown in places. They have a lot of pots and plants. So you can push back some of the shrubs if you like. But you know, these palms and these tall trees, they're just superb. So now I'm ha actually headed out of the property. I'm going back to the uh, main gate. I just want to show you how close or the proximity to the uh, main security gate is. So uh, it's, it's actually just about, I think, a minute's drive, a minute or two's drive. I'm actually driving at about 20 kilometers an hour. It just looks really fast when you're looking at the video. Uh, but the speed limit is about 25 on the street. And these are all family villas to the left and right. And now we're headed to this little roundabout. As I pan to the left, this is actually where the park starts from, the main park. And here is this little roundabout. And on the right is where you enter and exit the community from. So I'm just going to go around this roundabout to just give you a feel of what that feels like. So here we are, the entrance to the park. And you know, that's actually a water feature on the right side. It's not on right now. It wasn't on when I was filming this. Look how gorgeous that is. It's very impressive. And these palms and the street looks amazing even at night. They're really well lit. So we're gonna head on down to the security gate where very friendly security, uh, very nice guys. They know most of the cars, they recognize you once you move in, but it is, um, you know, it, it is controlled access. So residents are given their own access cards to enter through the community. So now we're gonna basically, we're leaving the community. You've got green community apartments still carrying on on the left-hand side. And what we're going to see up ahead is the ex Courtyard Marriage Hotel, which connects to the main market, which is called the market. And the, you have a lot of shops there, restaurants, you even got a Choi Drums, you've got, it's on two floors, it's just undergone a brilliant renovation, so it looks beautiful. So but that's about it. Uh, Catherine, if you've got any questions and you need any information, just please do not hesitate to contact me. I hope this video was informative. And if you need anything else, just yeah, just let me know. Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care.